Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis and this is a series on physiology and today let's talk about diffusion, a subtype of cell membrane transport, so let's get started. As you know, human cells and animal cells do not have a cell wall. Bacteria, on the other hand, do have a cell wall. That's why cell wall synthesis inhibitors such as the beta-lactam antibiotics destroy bacteria but not your cell. Cell membrane is the same thing as plasma membrane, same thing as lipid bilayer membrane. It's elastic, dynamic, semi-permeable, composed of protein, lipids, and carbohydrates. Mostly proteins. Lipids are phospholipids, cholesterol, sphingolipids, especially in nerve cells, and other types of lipids. In Hinduism, every life is an afterlife, every birth is a rebirth, but in medicine, Every membrane is a double membrane containing two lipid layers called lipid bilayer and proteins penetrating the entire length of this lipid bilayer. Proteins can be channels or carriers. Any active thing in your body is protein. Like dissolves like, that's why lipid soluble substances can cross through the lipid membrane itself. But water-soluble substances cannot pass through the lipid membrane, they need the protein channels. Give me liberty or give me death, give me a channel or give me death, said the water-soluble molecule. Cell membrane transport is either passive or active. Passive means it doesn't require extra energy beyond the basic kinetic energy. Because if you're moving, there is kinetic energy, but we do not require extra energy. Okay, hopefully this makes sense. Passive diffusion occurs down the electrochemical gradient. So it's, here is like more sodium and here is less sodium. The diffusion is going to be this way, this way, from higher concentration to lower concentration. Electrochemical, which means if these are negatives, like lots of negatives, they will repel each other, causing the movement in this direction. Electrochemical, electrical gradient and concentration gradient. Passive diffusion does not require ATP. Active diffusion, on the other hand, does require extra energy in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, or GTP, for example. Against electrochemical gradient, that's why we need energy. And we have two types, the vesicular transport and the active carrier transport, which is further subdivided into primary active and secondary active. Again, cell membrane transport, passive or active. Passive is diffusion. Three subtypes. Simple diffusion, osmosis, which is a subtype of simple diffusion specifically for water, and facilitated diffusion. Active, again, vesicular and carrier. And carrier has two types, primary active transport and secondary active transport. So let's talk about simple diffusion. It's passive, which means no ATP, along the electrochemical gradient from higher concentration of a substance to a lower concentration. There is no need for carrier. So no energy needed, no carrier needed. Through the lipid bilayer cell membrane, if you are lipid soluble, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, and alcohol, through the protein channels, if you are water soluble, such as electrolytes and urea, Two types of channels, gated and non-gated. If you are gated, you can open by a ligand or you can open by electricity. Or through both. If you are water, you get to rule. You are king. Why water is king? Because it's small and uncharged. It can pass through the lipid bilayer itself slowly or it can pass through the aquaporin channels very quickly. Aquaporin, I-N means protein. Por means like a pore and aqua means water. How about osmosis? A simple diffusion for water, from high concentration of water to low concentration of water across a semi-permeable membrane. The membrane is permeable to water but not permeable to the solute. Or you can define osmosis as water movement from low concentration of solute to high concentration of solute across the semi-permeable membrane. It's a simple diffusion, no energy needed, no carrier needed. Let's talk about facilitated diffusion. For large water-soluble molecule, what does facilitated mean? It needs a carrier, but it doesn't need energy. The carrier gives it three characteristics. Structural specificity, competition, and saturation. What is structural specificity? One key for one lock. Ligand specific for that receptor. 
competition, you can have two ligands competing for the same receptor. Saturation meaning Vmax. For example, in case of simple diffusion, it's a direct correlation. As the substance concentration increases, the diffusion rate increases towards infinity. But here with facilitated diffusion, we have Vmax. There is a ceiling. There is a maximum called Vmax, velocity maximum. Why? Because all of your carriers are saturated at the Vmax point. What are the factors affecting diffusion? Concentration gradient. Diffusion is directly proportional to concentration gradient. Membrane electrical potential. Present pressure difference across the membrane. The surface area of the membrane. The larger the surface area, okay, the greater the diffusion. Direct correlation. How about temperature? Direct correlation. If you heat it, the diffusion is going to increase. Molecular size inversely related to the square root of the molecular size. Length of diffusion is the same thing as the thickness of the membrane. If your membrane is thick, diffusion is going to decrease. Cell membrane transport, again passive or active. Passive is simple diffusion, which means no energy, no carrier. Osmosis, same thing, no energy, no carrier. Facilitated, no energy, but we need carrier. Passive diffusion is along the electrochemical gradient. Active diffusion is against the electrochemical gradient. That's why we need ATP. And here is a mnemonic for you. Diffusion down gradient. That's why it's passive. Doesn't need ATP. Active transport against the gradient. And this is active, so it needs ATP. Let's add something to the mnemonic. How about facilitated diffusion? I need a freaking carrier. Be aware of the flipping VMAX. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. If you want to send me private messages, please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.